If there's a question of my heart, you got it. It don't belong to anyone but you. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Popular. And it's your girl, Barbie. Today, we're going to do a story time. It's going to be about our first fight. <laughs> So our first fight happened October last year. It was like the end of October. We had just had our baby. He was shot of two months, like almost two months old. I hadn't started working yet. I was still at home every day on maternity leave, just you know, chilling out while he worked. He worked a shift. It was like what two to ten every day. Yep, two to ten. Yeah, two to ten. Occasionally overnight, but mostly just two to ten. Um, but this particular night and nights before this, like, just in general, after I had the baby, I just, like, felt like he was doing a lot more partying and, like, hanging out and smoking and drinking than usual. Like, I knew he was that type of guy when I first met him, so, you know, it's fine. Like, I knew, but I just felt like after I had the baby, it was just, like, party time. Like, woo, we had the baby, now let's, you know, party. Turn up. Yeah, let's turn let's up. Let's turn up. So, um, every night, like, after work, he'll bring all his co-workers back to the house, and they'll party, they'll smoke and drink, and, I mean, it's not even, like, a whole bunch of people, but, you know, just a crowd of people, and they'll just hang out and stuff all night until he comes in the room with <laughs> me and the baby, so this was, like, every night, you know, of course, it's getting on my nerves, and I'm just like, dang, you'd be at work all day, and then I'm in this room with this baby, and you acknowledge me, like, one time, and Nobody told her to stay in the room. With the baby. Yeah, but I'm not going to bring a baby out while you're smoking and drinking. Nah, we weren't smoking in the house. Let's yeah. get that understood. She just wanted to be a loner. Yeah, I wanted to be a loner. I had just had the baby. I was going through a postpartum thing, which most people do not understand. If you don't go through it, then you don't understand it. So I was just at a point where I just wanted to be alone. I just wanted to be by myself. I just wanted to be with my family, basically. And just at that time, just adjusting to everything. It was just a hard period of time for me. Anyways, this particular night, he was still at work. I think I was texting him when he got off. Normally, he texts me at like 10 whenever he gets off, but he never comes home until maybe like an hour after his shift because sometimes he works a little late or he'll help out or just, you know, something like that. But this night, it seemed like he was just staying a lot longer and he was hanging out with his friends and I was texting him like, where are you at? And he kept saying, I'm on the way. And then 20 minutes later, I text him again and he's like, I promise I'm on the way, babe. And he even called me and told me that he was on the way home. And then like 30 minutes later, he's still not home. So I'm just like, where is this dude? My brother was the third shift manager at our job. So when he comes in, I have to make sure that he has enough people to cover the shift. So... When he came in this this particular night, I was like, bro, you good? He was like, nah, we one shot. So, I decided to stay a little bit. But this lady here want to accuse people of cheating and stuff. So, this is where the night got pretty interesting. Well, I wasn't really accusing him of cheating. He just had a lot of friends and some of them were girls. And just a lot of them just a lot closer than you know I wanted them to be not to say he was cheating but I just felt like he wasn't being 100% honest with me as far as keep telling me that you're coming home and you that and you weren't but anyways I kept texting him and then he finally blocked me because <laughs> he was getting so annoyed with me and so I was like dang this dude didn't block me and I'm, I'm calling him like back to back texting him back to back I'm not playing with 100 him. messages in a row 100, 100 calls in a row like not you a blocker too right <laughs> so he blocked me and then like I got so pissed I was like I gotta leave this house like I can't sit in here like I'm like pissed like I don't have anyone while, to go while or she's pissed <laughs> we at the bar turn it up I'm talking about we go every day after work we hit the liquor store we go buy us a bottle of that mag dog 2020 and me and my boy Leon my boy Rings and my boy Tommy we gotta drink it before we get home. Because you just go hard like that. And so. a little female that was with them too. Yeah, Maya on the Cajuns, yeah. Which anyway Maya was my Maya girl. was Maya. She's a girl. She has a vagina. Anyway, so um anyways, I knew he said he was drinking and stuff. And I could just hear it in his voice, like even when we were on the phone with him, like, I felt like he was being like very like mean, like he was angry, like just you know, I'm just like okay. You'll be angry too about the someone <laughs> text you a hundred times. <laughs> But anyways, so I left the house. I just drove right up the street like two minutes, probably less than that. And I just sat like in my car and just on my phone, just chilling. No, the baby was in the back. He was asleep, so whatever. And so then I think you pulled up on me, right? I got a call, first of all, from my brothers and sisters saying, 
Cabrina has left the house yeah. and took the baby. Cabrina is Barbie. Barbie has left the house and she has taken the baby. So, of course, I'm pissed off. I'm like, what? She left the house. I'm already drunk. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. where she went? <laughs> so, they like, we don't know. I know, and they were like texting me and stuff too. And then he finally texted me, and I started ignoring his ass because yeah. I'm like, you were ignoring me, so I'm gonna ignore you. But so, anyway, so he ended up pulling up on me, which is funny. I'm pissed. <laughs> we furious. Me and my boy Thomas, we leave the bar. I promise, we did about 110. I didn't even know he was following me, you guys. So I'm like, I'm so drunk. He following me home. I pull over like, why the world is this dude following me? Or whatever. I jump out the car, and he like, bro, it's me. I'm trying to make sure you straight. I'm trying to make sure you straight. Around. So I'm like, oh, okay, bro, I ain't know. I thought somebody was following me or whatever. So we hit 100 down this straight lane street trying to get to the house. So I'm going so fast that I drive clean past her at the gas station. She's at a gas station probably three minutes from the house. Yeah. And my boy called me like, yo, that was your baby mama right there, fool. Mm -hmm. So on the two-lane road, y'all know your boy. Skirt! Put that gun in a U-turn and I come back to the gas station. Yeah, and I was her sitting in the car. Right. And with he, the baby. Yeah. And he got out the car and came to my window. What the are you doing? You stupid. Da -da -da. He was going off on me and I'm just like, this dude is crazy. Like he drunk, like something is really wrong with him. Like he was beating on my window, trying to take the baby out of the car. I'm like, no, you're not gonna get the baby. And so finally he drove away. He's like, You better be home. And like he was just like five ten minutes. He was like, You better be home. And I'll be waiting for you. So he literally went home, was standing outside the door and everything. So I didn't I even go home. My brother and sister yeah, he gas sent station. yeah, he sent his brother and sister to the gas station and she pulled up on me, you know, she was talking to me, she was like, you know, everything's okay, you just need to go home, you know, you got the baby with you and that. So, you know, her being a girl, like she understand me, so I was like, Okay, that's fine, like I'll go home, you know, whatever. So I followed well, I went home and they followed me home. And I went home and like then everybody crazy, was standing outside. The craziest moment ever began. Yeah, everybody was standing outside. Like him, his friends, all the friends they had at the house were just sitting there watching me, and I was just sitting in my car. Of course, me being shy like I am, I'm not gonna get out the car. She said she only come home if I don't say anything to her. This is what my sister and brother told yeah. me. Yeah. If I won't say anything to her, and I just let her be. Yeah. So she comes home. No, you pulled off. You left again. He now, left again. Yeah, I said she came home. Yeah. So to dodge her, I told my boy Tommy, just take me to your house. I'm about to yeah. leave again. Let me tell y'all how crazy she is. Why she get in the car with the baby still and follow us? Yeah. After just making this statement saying she want to be left alone. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> yes, yeah, so so I followed him. Well, I didn't even know where I was going, but I was just about to leave again. I didn't even know where I was going. Not necessarily following him. I just was going to leave again. Since he was going to be gone, I was going to be gone. So I left again. I didn't even get all the way out the neighborhood before he pulled back up on me because I guess they told him again that I left. So he pulled up next to me. So our cars are like parallel in the front of the neighborhood where like everybody can see this, even though it's late, but like everybody can see this. And so everybody's calling my phone, Cabrina, where you at? What's going on? Like his mom called me, was talking to me on the phone and she probably woke up out of her sleep talking to me. She was talking to his sister and talking to him. Like, everybody's just going crazy at this point. And keep in mind, my mom on the phone the whole time yeah, that this the whole fight time. is happening. Yeah. I don't speak a phone. Right. Bro. So, yeah. anyway, so I I think I, I got out the car because he was like, give me the baby. I'm taking the baby. And so, so he's trying to get out the car. What happened. <laughs> She's in the front seat. I get in the back seat and grabbing the baby, yeah, trying, trying to walk to the, baby the baby back to the house. And next thing you guys know, I just feel boom, boom, boom. <laughs> She's punching on me. Yeah, I punched. Keep in mind, you guys, this is not the first time she has done this. The first time I let her slide, but I told her if it happened again, it was gonna be some problems. She didn't believe me, so I'm grabbing the baby. I got the baby in my hand, and all I feel is boom, boom. She just punching me, so. I'm already drunk. I just lost it. Yeah, he put the baby down and then so, like he pulled me by my hair. I didn't hair. punch her. I just grabbed her no, hair. He grabbed my hair and then meanwhile his friend is running over to try to stop this. And, and he, he's grabbing he got, me. Yeah, he got <laughs> him. So he's pulling him and I'm along with them because my hair is still in his hand. I'm dragging on the floor and all I know, I'm under, car, under this man's car. I'm under his car. And like my knees are scraped up, I'm bleeding. I got immediately back in the car and closed my the door. Mama, like, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh 
I'm like, right. no, no, I told him. You know, I told him what was going to happen. Yeah, I, I was freaking out. So I got back in the car. Like, I was crying. Like, I don't think I cried that whole time. But at that point, I started crying because I didn't know what to do. Yeah. And so then everybody came, pulled back on me again. His sister and brother pulled back up on me again. They I pulled think, up yeah. trying to fight me. Yeah, they were trying to fight him. Like, and I didn't even know what she told him. My boy was like, your girl told him you done whooped her or whatever. <laughs> I'm like, dang, she, she did what? My sister, yeah, but there ain't no, no girl. What? I'm like, yeah, bro, it's probably because I was just street. panicking. Like, I was don't, telling don't them. Don't do that. Don't <laughs> I was, come over here. I was telling them the story. I was probably just panicking. So it sounded like way worse than what it really was because I was crying. And they think like, I was just like, he put his hands on me. That's all that I said. And after that, like everybody went crazy and everybody trying to come up to him. Anyway, you pulled off and he, he left yeah, again. We to my boy Thomas. Yeah, house. he left again. I was still in the car. His sister and brother were standing there talking to me, telling me I need to come back to the house. I was still on the phone with his mom, too. And like they were all telling me, go back to the house. So I, after 10, 15 minutes of arguing with his sister or whatever, I finally went back to the house and I went in the room. And like I didn't even notice that my whole knee and like the little of my leg was like bleeding like i'm telling you, like blood was everywhere and i didn't even notice it until like i got home i'm like dang and so somebody kept telling me like don't freak out don't call your mom like don't call family because like they're gonna freak out and they're gonna be mad like i was just like just need to let the night settle and you know whatever stuff like that so i ended up calling my mom anyway and it was probably like two in the morning probably two maybe later than that and i called my mom and i was crying bawling and she went and woke my dad up and told him everything that was going on my sister woke up so she was texting me and like they were telling me you know what i need to do they're gonna come get me and i was like no like don't come get me like i i want us to you know fix our problems like i don't want to be a single mom i don't want to be by myself like i still love him like you know, we just been really into it since we had this baby, but you know, I really want to work it out, you know what I'm saying? And like, I didn't want to, you know, just end everything and want them to come get me or get angry and, you know, just make the situation more than what it was. But anyway, I got off the phone with them and then my dad called me and he was crying. Like, my dad was really, really crying and he was like, I need to come and get you. Like, I can't let this happen to you. you know, my dad like called that. me Yeah, he called 3 in the morning and talked about how disappointed he was in me. Yeah. And I'm like, sir, can I talk? They're like, yes, son. So I told him, like, this is not your daughter's first rodeo with this. She was hitting me before, and I didn't do anything the first time or whatever. And he was like, well, Jay, I just, I respect you as a man. I believe you or whatever, but next time, call the police on her. Whatever. So, yeah, next time, <laughs> she will be locked up. <laughs> no, no, next time, he's going to be locked up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no questions about it. Yeah. And he told them to come and get me or whatever, even after yeah. they said they were going to get me, and I told them that I didn't want them to do that. No, but she had to leave her in the baby. You yeah. got to get out of here. So, long story be short, gone. I ended up going home for about a three month. or four weeks, yeah, about a month, and then... We ended up being back up together for Thanksgiving. Hey, we had like a, yeah, we had a family gathering in Gallenberg with his with his family, and so that's where we ended up being back up. And here we are now. <laughs> so that was our story of our first fight. And if you wanna see Hope you any, guys liked it. Yeah, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any other stories you want to see from us, just let us know. We have a lot of different stories that we can tell you guys. If you like these videos, please leave a comment and let us know below. And yeah. See you guys next time. I want you all to myself. You don't need nobody else. I want you all to myself, I swear.